Hey, it's Vaughn here at your jazzdrumschool.com YouTube channel. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So in this lesson, I wanna share with you another lesson from jazzdrumschool.com, and this one is about how to play solid vamp drum solos. So did you know that there are five essential types of drum soloing that you need to know if you're gonna play jazz on the drums? Well, in my jazz drum soloing course, I teach you all five, and vamp soloing is one of them. All right, so check this out, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so the next kind of solo we're gonna cover is called vamp soloing, or vamping. Basically, it means you're just, the band is repeating a kind of rhythmic or kind of a repeated phrase, musical phrase, over and over and over again, on top of which you can do a drum solo. Now right off the bat, I want to start off by sharing with you an example of this. This is using my drumless track, Another Thing, and it's kind of up-tempo, kind of fast, and there's a specific rhythm that the piano player and the bass player repeat over and over again to give the drums a chance to just solo over the vamp. It's a really, really a fun thing to do. And I've also included a PDF with this with the rhythm written out, just so you can kind of follow along and you can know what those kicks are. All right, so let's check it out. are kind of interesting, yeah? Now, there are specific kicks going on. Right? That's just constant. When you come across a vamp solo, when you have an opportunity to do a vamp solo, it doesn't mean that you have to play those kicks all the way through. It means that it's kind of like a foundation for you. So you know it's always there. Those kicks are always going on with the rhythm section but you can kind of dance around on top of it. You can have fun with it. You don't have to always play it. So you might've noticed I did some different things there. I did some, some kind of really, sometimes I'm playing this, the kicks specifically. Sometimes I'm hitting some of them. Sometimes I'm not hitting them at all. I even threw in some kind of metric modulation, kind of changed my feel and you know did some different things, which is really fun to do. It's because you know that the band, the rest of the band is kind of holding that down for you. So you really kind of have carte blanche. You can do whatever you want and have a lot of fun over the top of those rhythms. Now, like all of our soloing, we want to make sure that we play in a context, right? So we don't want to get too far afield from what the kind of the character of the song is. So we're not going to play like a, go into like a rock drum solo over a swing vamp. That's just not going to work. So you definitely want to stay in the context. And don't forget to use your tools. Don't forget to come up with your vocabulary like I've been sharing with you and teaching you and you're never gonna run out of ideas for your vamp solos. Now, one of the most important things you need to do as a drummer when you're doing a vamp solo is to give a cue to the rest of the band when you're done. So usually vamp solos are kind of open-ended, so you can just keep playing and playing and playing until you've had enough, basically. And you can then just cue the band and do like a head nod, something like, okay, I'm ready like this. Make sure you make eye contact with the pianist or the bass player or the horn player or somebody uh, so they know that it's over. And then, you know, you guys will run through the vamp maybe one more time and then you'll hit it, go to the next section of the song. All right, so now I wanna give you one more example of me playing with this vamp and just to show you kind of some other ideas of what you can do. All right, check it out.
super, super fun. Could play it all day long, and I encourage you to as well. Now, one tip to make your vamp solos sound great is to start off with just a few notes at a lower dynamic level and gradually add notes and raise the dynamics. So it's a great way to kind of build your solo. And I've talked about this before in the course. This is a really important skill. If we come out of the gate playing everything we know and as, you know many, many notes and playing loud, we really don't have any place to go. And it actually is not so interesting to listen to. Now let me give you another playing example, and this time I'm gonna build the solo a little bit more. Check it out. And that's about it. So vamp solos are pretty easy, pretty straightforward, a lot of fun, and an opportunity for you to then, of course, get more creative. And again, if you're running into troubles with finding stuff to do and to play over the top of it, start singing. You'll start, up, start creating some really cool stuff that you didn't know you could create, and it's probably gonna sound a lot more hip than if you just tried to do it just by thinking about it. All right, so go ahead and download the tune and have fun with it. It's a really great tune, actually. It's a lot of fun to play, and when you get to that solo section, see what you can come up with. Get as creative as you can. All right, have fun with that. I'll see you in the next one. So be sure to sign up for the drum soloing course. You're gonna learn the other four types of soloing. You're gonna learn 11 tools to help you craft your solos. You're gonna learn how to come up with really solid vocabulary for what to play during your solos, and you're never gonna get lost again when you're playing a solo. I know you're gonna love it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Be sure to like the video if you like it. That helps it get around YouTube a lot easier, and drop a comment. Let me know if you've had some experience playing vamp drum solos and how you like to approach playing them. All right? Keep swinging, my friend.